and what I'd like to share with you is the culmination of some experience over the last five years. Um, we teach embedded systems as a subject here. Embedded systems, as you know, is where uh, electronics and software converge, and it refers to systems in which you don't see a computer, like your mobile phones and avionics systems in in uh, planes and all these kind of things. So over the, we found it very difficult to teach this subject without students having experience of making a device move and lights flash and things move. People have experience of microcontroller kits, but face it, they're boring, right? So we thought, how can we motivate students to be excited by doing things with these machines? So in teaching the embedded systems course, we devised some very nice low cost educational robots. And we've built over the last five years an ecosystem around these robots. That means that I'll show you what we have. Uh, we got some money from MHRD a couple of years ago under oh, this yeah. uh, this NME ICT uh, project to spread our robots into engineering colleges. So for the last two years, we've been laboring, giving lots of workshops all over the country in various colleges. How many of you have have heard about e yantra or the workshops that we give? How many have attended any of these workshops? Okay, that means we've not done as much work as we need to do. Uh, we've done about 52 workshops and, and, and trained about 1,500 uh, people. And uh, we found that we need to do much more still to make things uh, happen. So these are the objectives, right? We want to trigger a robotics revolution in the country. We want to create engineers who can build these kind of machines. I'll give you an interesting number. It's taken 60 years for India to become a trillion dollar economy, trillion dollars. Thousand billion dollar economy, 60 years from 1946 to 2007 or so, right? How long is it going to take us to become two trillion dollar economy? Any guesses? He cheated. Six years, right? By 2013 or so, we'll be a two trillion dollar economy. Then we are on an exponential curve, right? So. You just don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. It's going to cause huge upheavals. And one thing you can be 100% sure of is that you're going to be facing many, many more machines in your lives, right? And in order to keep these machines low cost, right, so we don't have to spend a lot of dollars, we have to make these machines here, whether it's in agriculture, domestic use, automation, factory automation, cars, or whatever. So your students will have to build these machines, right? So we feel we are trying to create an ecosystem where students can get enabled with these skills a bit easier. So we are achieving our goal by designing and deploying these robots, by conducting workshops for faculty and students, partnering with colleges, and create an open source environment. And finally, the thing I want to share with you today is that today we have launched our national robotics competition as a way to accelerate this push into engineering colleges. So I'll describe what that is. This is the robot that we've uh, designed and built. It's an open source robot. You can get it in the market for about, uh, it's 15,000 rupees, but we are bringing the cost down. It's got a bunch of sensors around it, which can sense distance up to a one and a half meters with millimeter accuracy. It's got a, a, a main board, which is a, a signal conditioning board, and it's got a daughter board on top with which you can change the processor. You can change it from an 8051 to an Atmega 2560 to an ARM7 or whatever you like. It's got LCD for output. It's got battery powered. It's got wheel encoders with which you can measure how much wheels have moved, battery level, sensors. You can integrate magnetometers, gyroscopes, anything you want with this. And it's got wireless communication through, through Wi-Fi, through Zigbee, you name it. Bluetooth and all that, it can do all that. So using this as a basis, we've had a great time giving student projects. Once you give this thing in students' hands, right, they can, they get excited. You don't need to do anything. Just point them at a project and they'll do all the work and do all the research and everything. So in our embedded systems course, half of it is a project based on this. So over the last five years, through that experience, we, I have now launched a process which we call the e yantra process, which means that if I put a student into it, 12 weeks later, after doing the project, they become better. In what way? We feel that you, you put a gawky engineer here, right, whose concepts are very muddled. And at the end of 12 weeks, by doing this project and communicating and articulating their thoughts and so on, they become what we call dude engineer, you know, 
right? They've learned design engineering skills and all these things. So we want to share this process with you. Whatever we have learned, we want to share with you. Okay. So these are various avatars of this thing which you get in the market now, right? And this is how we teach our students. All the stuff is on the laptop, right? And two students will share one robot, and they go through all the assignments that they want. So we've now refined this whole process into a two-day workshop, right? Right? The way we normally do is go to a college. You can host us there, right? So this is the all the stuff that we have: robot design, courseware, syllabus, you name it. We have it, assignments and all that. And we've given a lot of workshops. We have a 120 open source projects on our website. Means each of these student projects, which is a potential BE project, we have a demo video, we have the source code, we have a report, we have a spoken tutorial as to how to set this up to make it work on the robot. Sab kuch hai idhar, right? And our target now is to seed lots of BE projects. We've, we've done 25 in our lab already with students from other places, right? Within 12 weeks, normally, we can have a very nice project out of them. And I'll tell you one, the most heartening thing is that the students who come from outside to do internships with us and projects with us do projects which are, if not as good as, better than our own projects, okay? So competition is this. We are trying to get lots of students to register, so we'd like you to spread the word amongst your own students. We'll choose 120 teams of four students each from all over the country, right? There's a selection process on the website. There are six tasks. One is a jhadu pocha task, fruit picking task, like that. There are six tasks, and we'll bring them to IIT Bombay, train them, send them back, and then we have uh, the finals at the end of the year, right? So how you can participate by hosting a workshop, by motivating your teams to uh, sign up and to seed this, uh, this competition of ours. So this is the first lot of robots going out. So many? This is the first lot. Now we're getting more, awesome. okay? And so this is what the competition is called, E-Yantra. Now I'll just show you the launch video, which we are, have just released today. And maybe I'll, I'll, I'll also share with you uh, some projects which have just happened, just two minutes, right? The kind of things which have happened. See, the students have described what they've done. Now started writing out the letter O. So we can see that this is a hexapod written version written out, uh, with six legs. Which these were the our earlier attempts in which we have written the. So here's another example. Okay, these students have built to start the drawing. an application which sees an image. It uses Scilab to vectorize the image, it turns that into a path and they've adapted a marker pen on the robot which can draw the image on graph paper. So what they have built without knowing is a, is a plotter. Okay, so this is one project. These kids have done another Mobile one in, in which they're using an Android phone to control a robot that through robot Bluetooth, they've seen that. Okay. okay, and uh, these and guys the have built a tennis ball collector totally. robot. And now which can image process, find a ball, go and grip the ball and through control of motors and go and drop it in a bin, right? So like that, we have 120 robots, uh, uh, robotic uh, projects. You have the source code for it and everything for it, okay? So one, one problem we found in colleges, students wants to do a robotic project, no robots in the market. So he builds a robot and by the time he's built a robot, the project is over. This is a universal story. I'm sure you all can relate to it. So now what we have is an ecosystem. We find our own students able to pick up previous batch projects and build on it, right? Which is a very, very important thing which is happening now, right? So they can build more and more complex projects. So you can go to our website and have a look at all this. And finally, I'll just uh, share with you our launch video. This is it, which we release uh, today, also done by our students. The planet Earth. Home to 7 billion people, trying hard to own their living every day. There is a need to make their complex life simple. But for that, we need superheroes, real superheroes, who will make this human life, which is going through a lot of hardship, better. But. Where are they? No, they're not here. Where are they? Oh, here they are. The Chhatrapati robot. He new streets every day. The Wager robot. So
observing people and the pothole filling room on. And yes, you can make them. You can control them. And if you're wondering how, Presenting the Yanto Robotic Competition. Join the nationwide quest for the best robot builders. Registration is open 15 June. Log on to www.eyantra.org. Okay. Thank you very much, Kavi Arya. Uh, especially for offering one robot to each of my remote centers. Let's thank him profusely. Okay. Uh, by the way, for this robotic competition, uh, will you be making robots at least available on loan or something? Yes, or? in fact, each of the teams will be given one robot. So, we are hoping that they will contribute it to their uh, participating college. So, so e each college, if you can enthuse a team of students to participate, you get one robot from him and another from the team. Anyway, it is not important that these robots are available free or at cost. What is important is to stimulate the thinking of creative students, which all of you have and make them do useful work. This is just one glimpse. IIT Bombay has a whole lot of faculty members doing research in various different spheres and it will be our ambition in next two years of our involvement in the Akash project that we get more and more of such things and then incorporate the contents and other things onto the Akash.